um, welcome to Care Academy. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the most common questions under photoelectric effect. So we'll be looking at GCE 2017. The first part of the question says that explain what is meant by wave particle duality. So we know that wave particle duality is the ability of light or matter to behave both as a particle or as a wave. So we see from the photo, from the Einstein mass to energy relation, we see that E is mc squared, where m there is a mass, c is the speed of light, and also from the quantum theory of electromagnetic radiation proposed by Maxwell Planck, we see that E is hf, where h here is a Planck constant, f is a frequency. We can also express hf as hc all over lambda, where c is speed of light and lambda is a wavelength. Now, this relationship is gotten from c equals to um, from f equals to c all over lambda so substituting we are going to get that now looking at this from these two equations we get the relationship lambda equals h on p where p is the momentum of the photon now since the equation said since the particle or the light in, in this case is behaving both as a wave and as a particle then we are going to assume that the energies of these two are equal so that's why when we equate mc squared to hc on lambda we are going to get this uh, the Broglie's wavelength now the second part of the equation says that we should estimate the Broglie's wavelength for an electron emitted by a demonic emission into a vacuum from a hot cathode and accelerated by a pd of 3.0 times 10 to the negative 4 volt we we have our pd our pd has been given we know that from the Broglie's wavelength, lambda equals to um, h all over p, where p here is our momentum. So this can be written as h all over m v. But we have m here is the mass of the electron. We don't know the velocity. But since the equation says that the emission into a vacuum from a hot cathode, so here we know that our kinetic energy. Our kinetic energy of the electron will solely be provided by the circuit, the energy of the circuit, which is EVS. But we know that our kinetic energy is a half mv squared. mv squared to be equal to EVS. So from here, we are going to make V subject and substitute in our de Broglie's wavelength. So we are going to have um, V to be equal to. A square root of um, 2 EVS EVS all over M so putting it in our de Broglie's wavelength we are going to have H all over um, M the square root of 2 EVS all over M so this can also be simplified to um, h all over the square root of uh, 2m e e v s now so that is why we have h all over the square root of 2m e v s now doing our numerical application we know that lambda we know that lambda is equal to our plan constant is a uh, six point uh, 626 times 10 to the negative 34 and uh, divided by the square root of 2 times the mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 and Vs was given or Vs was uh, which is PD, the PD was uh, 3.0 times 10 to the power 4 times 10 to the power 4 so doing our numerical calculation uh, we are going to have numerical application we are going to have um, so we get our lambda to be 1.212 times 10 to the power negative 8 meters so that's our the Broglie's wavelength.
okay guys um thanks for watching if you find my video useful you, you help subscribe to my channel and you like you share to to your fellow friends